would normally be. Okay. Cool. Right now. Once you've done that, come out of the gun. Like so. Like that. Just make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, the thing that you're going to be pressing is the background, so we'll go into the background. I'm going to put a bit of code in here. I, already, I think I already have this pre made in a different one, which would be the sniper. Yep. Okay, so we'll go into this, press F9, which is the background, and it is, yeah, this one. Copy that. Okay, so now, F9, paste. Okay, this one here, I'm just going to change this. We're going to call this gun, because that's what we called this before, in the instance, which is gun. So, put it there, gun. We're going to go to and play frame 1, or frame 2, yeah, frame 2, because that's the one that's not got the stuff on. So now when we go into this, we go to weapons, pistol, oh yeah, before we do that, on code, which is your code there, inside the frame, you want to just put a stop in there, because otherwise it's just going to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and it's not going to work. So we'll click on weapons, pistol, and as you can see, when you click, you have your firing weapon, and it stops back on... So you can just go like that and it will stop back on your number one frame because that's where you put the stop on. Now, if you want it to follow the mouse, it's... I already have this code, I believe. And, um... Uh, stop signing into MSN. Okay, there we go. So now, I already have this code. This will be in the description. Whoops. Undo. Copy. Now, you paste that in. So now we have this, and it should follow my mouse. Um, and voila. Okay, so now you have a shooting pistol that follows your mouse and everything like that. Now once you've done that, we'll just now we're going to make the enemy. So make a new layer, put it under the weapon, call it bad guy or yeah, bad guy. I do it. Just draw a person, preferably not the same color as the background. Uh, bluish color. I do it. Make sure you don't put it on that either. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Draw that. Bam. Okay, now just once you've drawn your enemy, it doesn't have to be like that. It can be pretty much anything. Oops, my mouse just went weird. Okay, double click it. Convert to symbol. Call it movie clip. Call it bad guy one. You want to have it one and make sure it's a movie clip. Click OK. Go into it. Like so. Then double click it again. Convert to symbol. Call it bad guy 2. Make sure it's a movie clip again. Then go into it again. Like that. Now you make it a button, because this way you can have it animated, so it can move and you can still shoot it. So we call this bad guy 3, and it's going to be a button, click OK. So within this button, you want to have that code to make it, where is it, da -ba -da -ba -da. There it is. just quick grab it from this one, I can't be asked to go back, otherwise it's just taking forever, copy. Where am I? I can't see what I'm on. Okay. okay. So within the button, call this bad guy. Guy. Button. Like so. Go into it. And paste that in. Just change the name of this. Gun. And frame 2. So now when you press that, like this. And so now when you press that, see look. Actually, as an example, that yeah, I'm clicking on it now and it's not firing. So now we go into it. Make sure the button. Go into it. On press. Ah, <laughs> that's why. You want to have it root. Dot gun. Whoops. Ah, oh, God's sake! You have to be joking me. There we go. Okay. 
and say instead of taking the root out, just like change the word sniper to gun or whatever. Oh, gin gun. Okay, there we go. Stop signing into Amazon. God damn. Two. And there we go. That should not work. Weapons pistol. Okay, so now when you click on it, it fires. So now we're gonna make it so when you press it, it has an animation sequence. So then when you click it, the health goes down and so on. So we're gonna make a health bar quickly. Just quick. There we go. Change it to red. Look like that. Okay, so now we're gonna on this first frame of bad guy button, which is your button, press F9, just whack a stop in there. Delete this, I don't need it. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Copy. Oh no, wrong one. Undo, undo, undo. Shit! Whoopsie. I'll just delete it, please. Thank you. There we go. Okay. On the frame, not the character on the frame, put a stop in there. So you can, f there's, I, as you see, I've been doing, I've been getting mixed up between the actual character and the frame, but they're completely different things to put codes into. So now, you can see that's got press and that has stop. And the exact same thing, because it's still highlighted. Now, change this to red. Like this. Cool. Right now. Because this has a stop on it, that's your standby frame. So we create another one. So when you shoot it, it'll go down slightly. Because it's a pistol and goes down quarter. Next frame. <sighs> Click on it, there we go. Halfway. Next frame. Quarter. Next frame. And he's dead. Okay. And the next frame. Now this one's where you animate him actually dying. If you're wondering how I'm making it so the bottom stays where it is, I'm pressing ALT, by the way. If you don't press ALT, it goes like that, you see? So if you press ALT. And just make it smaller. And make it smaller again. smaller again and finally on the last frame delete it so then go the animation sequence like that so then you want to on each frame on each frame not character frame you want to put a stop on each one for each one that has the health until until you get to this one because that's your dead okay now once you've got stop, on the first frame, which is this one, when you press it, okay, so, when you press it, you're going to want it to go to this next frame, so, on, press, change to expert quickly, on press, you want it to go to the next frame, just take that out, close it off, like that. So, on press, next frame. And because it's got stop on, it'll stop there. So then you want to copy this. Go to the next frame. Put it back on the character. Not the frame, remember that. On the character. Paste it in. And finally, on the character, on the last one, which is you're pretty much nearly dead. Oops. On your nearly dead one. On this one, you're going to want on. Press. Go to and play. Oops. Stop doing that. It's annoying me. Go to and play frame 5. Because that's the one that's the d that hasn't got the stop on. And it will continue that animation. And then and finally on the last frame, the one where it disappears, put a stop on it. So now, it should animate. Pistol, bam, 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 and it's gone. Voila. Okay.
So now, I'm showing that. Just click save. Go back to Bad Guy One, which is the 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 first um, movie clip that you made. This one, this one, this is the one that you can animate it on, which is pretty awesome, I thought. By the way, if you're wondering how I learned all this, this is all trial by error. <laughs> so yeah, so you're gonna make frame thirty, which is gonna whack it over there. Frame sixty. Go back. So then it would just cycle round. Actually, I shall cheat. I shall remove this. Copy. Just whack that there. So it'll go back perfectly. So now, when we do this, bam, bam, bam. So look, if I'm missing it, it misses. Bam, and it's gone. Okay, right. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, I'll be teaching you the ammo. The ammo is pretty much the most useful thing because the way I'm doing it is the way that you run out of ammo, you cannot fire anymore. So once you run out of ammo, you can't fire. The way I do this is pretty much just, I'll just come at this. You see how I did it by pressing the background. When it presses the background, this moves. All you do is just make a new layer, make a new shape, pull it in front of everything and make it so you can't press it. So then when it's on top of it, you can't press these and you can't fire, can you? Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned in, the next tutorial will be in a pretty much, I'll be doing it in an hour's time, I would say. Right, yep, cheers for watching. Oh, and if you've got any questions, just put it in the comments below and I pretty much will answer, unless it gets too overclogged and just send me private messages, hopefully I'll I'll get the time to help you.